In this role, I see a lot of computer hardware every day, so I guess you could say I'm a little hard to impress at times, but something that legitimately impresses me is the progress of really small form factor, low power PCs. Today, I've got ASRock's new Desk Mini 110 on hand, and at a 1.92 litre capacity, this thing is tiny, but how much of a punch does it pack? Let's take a look and find out. Looks wise, the Desk Mini is kind of industrial, with sharp edges and straight lines almost all around. There's a big grate on the top and sides with some additional holes and indentations at the front which on this model aren't used and honestly aren't exactly striking. The front's a little better though and employs some alright looking diagonal lines. There's a small I.O. panel here too that includes audio jacks, USB Type-C and a USB 3 port. There's also two LED indicators and of course the power button with an emblem that suits the unit being in its vertical stance. Moving around to the back there's also plenty of ventilation alongside the main I.O. panel of the device. Here we find the DC power input, a display port and HDMI port, legacy VGA port and a gigabit ethernet connection above a USB 2 and USB 3 port. To pop the unit open to make any upgrades or clean out dust there's 4 screws that need to be removed, quite a lot less than is often the case with these small form factor PCs. Once these screws are gone you can simply slide out the innards along the included rails and voila. This little ASRock H110M STX motherboard uses the LGA1151 socket and supports all 6th gen Intel Skylake processors that'll plug into it. The chipset used is obviously the Intel H110. Dual DIMM slots are available for memory and the maximum capacity is up to 32GB via two 16GB modules and this chipset can run DDR4 up to 2133MHz. Hardware expansions can be made and there's an included M2 slot for NVMe SSDs as well as an E-key slot for a Wi-Fi and Bluetooth module. The motherboard used includes three SATA headers on board although there's only really spaces for two drives by default so you'd have to get creative to squeeze a third drive in. Lastly, the onboard audio is powered by the Realtek ALC283 codec and the network port is handled by Intel's Gigabit i219V controller, both of which will comfortably do a reliable job. With all that covered, let's see how this little pocket rocket performs. For our tests, we use a Core i5 6400 CPU along with 16GB of G-Skill DDR4 memory. Kickstarting the benchmarks, we have PCMark 8's home test. The Core i5 6400 gives the Desk Mini an advantage over other systems tested and as a result it produced our best mini PC result yet. With a score of 3,017 points, the Desk Mini just edged out the A10 7800 desktop system and also beat the B-Box S that I reviewed recently. The Desk Mini also crushed the creative test, scoring 3,924 points, which again made it slightly faster than the A10 7800 desktop test system. For any kind of productivity work, the Core i5 6400 desktop processor gives the Desk Mini a serious advantage over other small form factor PCs. Here it scored 3,440 points, making it 27% faster than the A10 7800 system and 41% faster than the B-Box S. Cinebench shows just how much more powerful the desktop Core i5 processor really is. The single thread score of 140 points is very strong, though it's the multi-threaded performance that sets the Desk Mini apart. Able to take advantage of a true quad-core processor, it produced a score of 516 points. In our 7-zip test, the Desk Mini enjoys a serious performance advantage over other small form factor PCs such as the B-Box thanks to its ability to support quad-core processors. The Core i5-6400 didn't just crush the B-Box S, but it also did away with the AMD A10-7800 as well. Equipped with the right processor, the Desk Mini even makes do as a decent encoding machine, delivering 43 FPS in the first pass test. The Core i5 in our desk menu features Intel's HD Graphics 530, while the B-Box S uses HD Graphics 520. They're essentially the same GPU as both boast 24 execution units. That said, the HD Graphics 530 is clocked a little higher. As a result, the desk menu comes out on top. The margin in favour of the desk menu is greater than expected given how similar the integrated graphics are. That said, the game is quite CPU intensive and I believe the stronger quad core Core i5 processor makes up the difference here. The desk mini was slightly slower than the B-Box S when testing with Counter-Strike Global Offensive though admittedly there was very little in it. The desk mini comes home strong in Overwatch as it almost matched the A10 7800 with an average of 66 FPS making it quite a bit faster than the B-Box S. At idle, the Desk Mini consumed just 16 watts with the Core i5 6400 installed, an impressive result given the performance just seen. Under load, the Desk Mini looks much more like your typical desktop system, consuming over 60 watts of power. In comparison, the B-Box S consumed around 3 times less when just stressing the processor. 
Nevertheless, when you consider the performance delivered by the Desk Mini, the power consumption is still very impressive. There's a lot of things about the ASRock Desk Mini that I really liked. In fact, given the price, I really found it hard to fault. Some users aren't going to be impressed with its looks, let's be honest, but having said that, it looks fine and it's not like you're walking around wearing the thing on your wrist. ASRock have kept things really simple and one distinct advantage of this was how easy it was to access the interior of the device. The performance was also really impressive, as the Desk Mini is capable of harnessing some very serious hardware inside, including uncommonly seen in small form factor items such as the 65 watt TDP Core i7-6700. Thanks to the handy amount of extra space and the plentiful ventilation, the unit will also stay relatively cool. Space for two 2.5 inch drives is awesome, as is the fact that the M2 slot is tied directly to the CPU so it can fully utilise NVMe SSDs. A couple more USB ports would probably be welcomed by most users, as would an included Wi-Fi adapter, but I was impressed that USB Type-C is included. For an MSRP of $140 US though, for the bare bones unit, it's pretty tough to complain. Unfortunately, there's still no stock down under, so I can't quote Aussie pricing just yet. What do you guys think of the Desk Mini 110? Let me know in the comments. I'm your host Matt as always, and I'll see you guys next time. YouTubers like me depend on your support to continue improving the quality and content of our videos. To support the channel directly, consider becoming a patron to also get access to a heap of cool rewards and exclusive giveaways. Also, don't forget you can check prices and buy the products I looked at in this video through the Amazon links in the video description below. Thank you kindly for supporting me and the Hardware Unbox channel, it means a lot to me and I really do appreciate it, and in return I'll continue to work as hard as I can to keep producing the content you enjoy.